What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a kind of like the next part of our Hidden Fates Premium Collection experience where we ordered two boxes. Actually, they both came in with the packaging all messed up, so we're actually gonna open one. So the vendor got back to me and said, you know, if you want, you can choose to open the product as is and take pictures of the damage, and then we'll reimburse you partial of the value of your purchase. And um, so I think I'm going to go that route, at least with one box at first. This one is definitely the one that's more damaged. Um, actually, I'll kind of have like a picture somewhere, but uh, you know, the figure is not even on the stand. In fact, the stand is upside down. The figure is still on top of the bottom of the stand. The packs are all over the place, um, but we'll kind of see what happens. We're going to record it, obviously take lots of pictures, and we'll play this one, see how it goes, and then that'll help us determine whether or not we just want to straight up return the second box or do the same process. So. We are going to open probably 15 packs of Hidden Fates and see how badly a Rayquaza is um, <laughs> damaged. So this is the what happens when, um, yeah, product isn't uh, produced or shipped properly. And this is what can happen when you have a really cool figure, but really bad shipping. So, all right, let's see what happened. All right, so this product is really big. So we do have this awkward angle, but I figured it might be easier to show if I do top down. And yep, as you can see, that Rayquaza is very much <laughs> not upright. So let's get him out and see what the damage is. Alright, good news is the promos are okay. And yeah, this guy is thoroughly messed up. It looks like the... Oh no! That's a pretty clean break right there. Okay, and five of the packs were just kind of jumbled around for duration of shipping. And oh, there's the rest of the Rayquaza. So the tail is... Alright, so Rayquaza has been cut in half. Huh. Playmat's fine. Yeah, tape is loose, whatever. But So I suspect that these guys have been like basically banged around in there. Uh, those 10 packs are probably okay, and this guy has been... Not his head cut off, his legs cut off? Bottom half of his body cut off? So, alright, well, uh, I'm going to take some pictures and then we'll actually open up all the stuff. The mighty Rayquaza has fallen, so this is just another angle. I'm not sure if this thing is supposed to be jiggly, but there's another anchor point to the base. So I'm assuming... It's supposed to be kind of like... Actually, I have no idea. Oh, okay, there's the anchor point. So something like that. But, uh, yep. <laughs> he is clearly down for the count. So these were the five packs that are supposed to be underneath the um, figure. So we'll open these first to see if any of the cards were damaged. Uh, take some pictures of that and then we'll open the 10. The 10 should absolutely be fine. They were kind of like in the background uh, holder thing. So yeah, still kind of like disappointed about this, but um, let me show the code card first. And uh, yeah, code, this, this uh, pack seems kind of like unscathed. And we'll see if we've got anything good. Oh, what a nightmare that would be if you pull like a Charizard or something and it's like huge gash in it. Metapod, Magmar, Misty's Gym, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Bill's Analysis is our rare and then a Psyduck. So nothing there to get excited about or sad about potentially. But yeah, I'll keep you informed about how this plays out. Um, you know, I think a natural reaction would just be upset, but uh, we kind of talked about this last time. You know, it's not exactly the vendor's fault. Like, they don't they don't determine how these things are shipped. Yes, sure, they're still somewhat responsible and need to, like, stand by the product and their customers. Um, but, you know, I think if we try to be, uh, you know, rational with each other, I'm sure we can come to some kind of conclusion that both parties are satisfied with. So pack number two, we have a Weezing, and this card seems fine. 
And then, ooh, no, Alolan Ninetales. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, I see no issues, no dings or anything. I'll probably put this off to the side just so I can take another closer look at it. But uh, yeah, these five packs seem to be undamaged, so it seems just to be Rayquaza that took the brunt of the damage. Although, yeah, thoroughly... They're really destroying him. <laughs> Poor guy. Alright, pack number three. Barak's Grit. Koga's Trap. Clefairy. Slowpoke. Pikachu. Charmander. Voltorb. Clefable. And Zapdos. So I did hear stories that like the Pokemon company will kind of like take them back from vendors and stuff like that. Um, so obviously that's always an option. I'm curious what, how it plays out. Like if you see a broken one, actually if you don't know, if you know the answers, let me know because like let's say you find one in Target and it's broken and you tell them. I'm curious how that will play out. I wonder if they don't really stock the shelves with the broken ones because maybe it's just a, such a widely known problem that they kind of got ahead of it. It's like you know what, just send these back. Don't even put these on display. So kind of stop the problem before it happens. But obviously that means for consumers that there's just less supply out there. But it's kind of disappointing because, you know, online is kind of like how I like to get most of my product. Ooh, Quagsire, that's another good one. And, uh, oh yeah, so I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but you can kind of see like the gloss. It's not foil, it's not foil bleed, but it's almost like the gloss is on here. Last box we opened, it was like actually textured to it. So there's no texture to this one. But it's almost like there's, yeah, just like a lot of gloss. Uh, let's take a look at the back. <laughs> yeah, off-centered is <laughs> definitely not the vendor or the shipping's fault. But I don't see any dings or anything, so it's not too bad. And a very good pull. Super off-center, though. All right, last pack of the bunch that could have been damaged. This one's actually super loose. Let's see if that results in anything. All right, fighting energy. And the tricky thing is that let's say this one, um, let's this was the worst of the two, but let's say the other one is not as bad. But like, no matter what, a not perfect figure has very little value to me. So we'll see how this goes with the vendor, and we'll kind of talk about the second one, where like Star Starmy, and then Metapod, where you know, depending on what we mean by partial refund, like a fully broken figure versus a partially broken figure are almost the same to me so I may opt for returning it altogether if that's the case so for the first five packs actually we got three hits so <laughs> all in all that worked out pretty well these ten very confident that these should be fine it was basically in the background which means it's wedged between two pretty big pieces of plastic basically it's probably the same exact um, half of it most of it is the same thing as the Pokeball collections. So it doesn't look like these moved at all during transit. But so far, as far as this box, you know, Rayquaza, <laughs> uh, fainted Rayquaza aside, um, the results are pretty good. One very solid GX and one very solid regular shiny. Uh, Starmie is, Star Starmie is Starmie. Uh, Starmie is quickly falling to status of like reverse energy. Not too different than this Raichu, but we will take it. And then a Golem. So as far as hit ratios go, we are doing quite well. And as always guys, if you do want to support the I Want a Turtle TCG channel, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And uh, yeah, tons of other stuff to quickly hit. We got the Discord link down there as well in the description. Uh, come join us if you haven't haven't been there in a little bit. Uh, we do giveaways every once in a while. Uh, we are streaming on Twitch and YouTube Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, 7 p.m. EST, playing PTCGO. Ooh, nothing there. So if you ever want to learn about the competitive side, uh, I like to think that the not only myself, but actually the chat is really good about just answering questions for newcomers and stuff like that. And we're actually running frequent giveaways on the Twitch side uh, if you're looking for some more PTCGO packs. Shoutouts to Garfield, basically sponsored. 
all of our giveaways, hooking us up with plenty of ammo to basically throw to you viewers. So thank you so much to you. Um, get wrecked, donate a bunch of bikes <laughs> from his league. Uh, so we got a lot of bunch of aggro bikes to send out too. Ooh, rock rough. I actually think I might need this one. This one, oh, I like the the art was done really well here. Uh, I like the blue, and he just looks really fun, or looks really happy. Um, actually, this one you can kind of see the gloss, and actually a little bit of texture too. So it seems like the actually let's pull that quagsire back out. Um, you know this is not really useful information. I just find it interesting. You can see the quagsire is super glossy, and then the rock rough is very texturized. Very curious stuff. So it almost suggests that for the same product, some of the cards, although they, they might, I would think they would fall in the same category, are from potentially different print runs. So Cosmic Eclipse is like well out, prices are super cheap, and I kind of think that things are swinging back towards hidden fates as far as what is exciting to open. Um, Cosmic Eclipse, you know, it's weird because I think it's such a good set. Has so many cool cards in there. But maybe that's more from a meta perspective rather than a collector side because, oh my gosh, yes! This is the full art supporter. This is like outside of Charizard. This is the card to get. So we got the full art Cynthia. This thing is the only thing, uh, I think this thing's holding like 40 something, $50. And, you know, I think it'll be so until it rotates out. It's very unique because there already is a Full Art Cynthia. And I feel like a lot of times, you know, the older one is the one that costs more. But this one kind of breaks that rule. Look at that texturing. I love that. Uh, you got a shiny Lucario back there. And a Garchomp. Very nice. I can't remember. I'm not sure if that's the shiny version. We'll put this off to the side. We're going to sleeve everything later on because I don't know where I put my sleeves. So I hope everyone had a good holiday weekend if you're in the US and if you happen to be, you know, I feel like Thanksgiving is not really a, you know, there's not really a affiliation with any kind of religion or anything. It's just for almost everyone. It just means time you spend with friends and family. Um, and if you did do have like the day off, I uh, hope you're able to relax and just spend some quality time, maybe watch some football or something. Um, and yeah, maybe you did some Black Friday shopping. If you did, let me know how you did, if you picked up any good deals. Uh, we did do a video about the potential, what, what options there are out there. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't that impressed, but there's some gems to be had. So if you did go out Black Friday shopping and pick up some Pokemon stuff, let me know in the comment down below what you got. And we'll see if uh, I went about it in the wrong way myself. All right, this has been a very good box, Rip Ray Quaza, because we are pretty satisfied with the contents of this box. Obviously, condolences to Rayquaza. You will be on our on our minds. Unless we pull a Charizard, and it's like <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, you'll you'll walk it off. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Fire, or no, water. Tremeleon, Magmar, Scyther, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing, Erica's Hospitality, and then a Magmar Reverse. So I feel like our ratios are still holding pretty good. Those two non shiny GXs, though, at this point, they're. It's hard not to call them hits, but at the same time, it's like if I could pick between a Reverse Energy. And one of those GXs, I'd have a tough time choosing. Sabrina. Alright, Cubone. Magikarp. Geodude. Cleef Fairy. Eevee. Brox Training. Ooh, okay. <laughs> See? I celebrated a little bit about this reverse energy. When I saw that Starmie, it's like, ugh. Toss that to the side. You're not damaged, but you're bad. <laughs> so there you go. That's that's how my uh, that's how I assigned those as far as um, <laughs> how I feel about those two different quote unquote hits. 
All right, we only have two more packs. We'll do a... We'll have to double check out how our ratio is. Cleefair, I never really noticed, but look at all these Cleefairs in the background. They're kind of just like all dancing around. As there's like a little fire pit in the middle, they're just kind of dancing around it. We have Blaine's Last Stand, and then Shiny Magnemite. Oh my gosh, and this is like the glossy version. So I find that so interesting. Um, yeah, if you know anything about this, let me know in a comment down below. And, uh, man, if someone could tell me how many Magnemites we pulled on this channel, <laughs> I'd be impressed if you could tell me. It is a lot. All right, let's see. Four, eight. Eight. So we basically hit that 50% already. And uh, here's the bonus pack. Although, yep, Rip Rayquaza. But uh, I think we do have something here. So this will be another successful box and really happy with that full art supporter. Uh, do me a favor, guys. Hit that like button down below. Show your support for myself and the channel. And here we go. Magmar. Misty's Gym. Pikachu. Yeah, that's Pikachu. Charmander. A Voltorb. A Coughing. Ekans. And Mewtwo GX. Um, all right, as far as GXs go, Mewtwo, Charizard, get a pass. Oh, nice. Now, that's a loaded pack right there. Evolution. Big thumbs up. Uh, there's actually some really cool Evolution decks out there right now. So we, got, so, we got 10 hits out of 5 packs. These boxes are absolutely loaded. If you can get one with Rayquaza intact at a some kind of sale... For like, I don't know, $75, I think it's well worth it. 100 is hard to justify. Talk to your vendor, figure something out for broken figures, and I think you'll be all right. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll let you know how this turns out all together. But uh, I'm pretty happy with the polls and the, the packs themselves were not, or the cards inside the packs were not damaged. So uh, that'll be it for today. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.